Cassava planting. No, it's Saturday. <laughs> We're a family of four who have moved from Birmingham to Zanzibar and built our own home without cement with very little money. We're now starting a journey of growing our own food in an organic permaculture way and continuing our homeschool journey and taking our child's education into our own hands. Come along for the journey and have lots of fun on the way. We've been growing these cassava plants for six months and they are finally ready Cassava plants are a really important plant in Africa. They're drought resistant. They'll literally grow anywhere. You put the cuttings in the soil and then come back six months later and hopefully if it's rained once or twice, you should have good cassava roots. How do we know that they're ready? Now, you can see the leaves are yellowing. Second point is the ground underneath it is cracking. That means the tubers are getting bigger and ready. And the third point is, the stems are woody. If the stems are just becoming a little woody, then they're ready. But don't leave it too long, otherwise the tubers, the root system, will become bitter and less delicious to eat. How much does a cassava plant cost? So one cassava plant will take around one square metre. It doesn't need to be irrigated the rains will naturally irrigate it as long as it rains once or twice in the life cycle that's pretty much okay each plant will produce around four kilograms of cassava and this will generate around two dollars of revenue whilst you don't know what you're doing with your land you can just plant cassava and it'll cover the land produce food until you're ready for your new planting cycle as well as eating the tubers, the actual cassavas, you can also eat the young leaves. They're very delicious and sweet in a curry. The, the older ones, the bigger ones are bitter, but the young ones, they're very sweet and delicious. Another brilliant use for the cassava plant is to feed the goats. They love cassava. Gulab and his buddy German. And they are big fans of the cassava plant. So we, since we're harvesting, we're going to let them have a good feast. The cassava plants, yeah. they don't like this. But the goats love it. So is it in the stop them reproducing? Yeah, it does stop them reproducing through the leaves. It stops photosynthesis. How would we feel if we were the cassava plant? And getting eaten? Yeah. I don't know. Do you think we'd be in pain? Yeah. While the goats have their feast, it's time for our breakfast too. Yaz a master at making mitty bread. And today Reem's tried it. How is it that master he's come to check our work? Did you put sugar? Yeah. Yeah. Did sugar. You put an egg. How many eggs? Eggs. Three. How many eggs? Three. It's three it's eggs. Bang it. It's perfect. Perfect. It's beautiful. Okay, it's gonna burn. You need to flip this. No, flip it. Do the flip mango. Who puts three eggs in mitty bread? Too much oil. And did you put milk? Yeah. How much milk did you put? Someone's feeling empowered. A lot, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you use too much. I'm Wicked. Wicked. Oh, these are really good. Both boys meant lovely French toast this morning. Right, are we ready for some harvesting? Yeah! Let's go! So here we are, time to harvest. We can see that this cassava plant's lying down. The leaves are yellowing. So let's get ready to go. Now you just jiggle it. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. That's actually a stack. There you go. Good stack. There you go, catch. <laughs> slowly, slowly. Danny, natural farmer you are, eh? 
the size of that one. That's the load so far. I think we've done about half the batch. Reem, how many kilos is that? No idea. This one. Which one is this? Uh, nothing. How many kilos is that? Very good. And we got 20 kg of mahogany. Yes. I think this might be 30 actually. Right, should we do the rest or should we do the rest tomorrow? Rest tomorrow. Let's get cooking. Chop and clean. Cut it and fry. They're so good, they taste just like chips. Good. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as we enjoyed harvesting, eating and working. It was good work, yeah? Yay! Right, see you next week. Oh, uh, by the way, before you guys leave, i got to uh, tell you a science experiment right now. We have found a way to make biodegradable plastic that doesn't hurt the earth using Mohogo. That's right, using this little guy. We blend the mohogo and make it into a watery plate paste using a sieve. Then we add vinegar, glycerol and distilled water. Mix them all together on a high heat and then wait a couple of hours but you want to make them make sure the mixture is thin and then you have biodegradable unhurting earth plastic. Uh the description for how to make biodegradable single-use plastic from cassava is in the description. So, see you guys next week. Make sure to like, share and subscribe. Bye!